So Canva just secretly released a brand new feature that uses artificial intelligence to generate images based on anything that you type in. So here's a quick tutorial on how you can do it and a couple of interesting ways of how you can use those images. So firstly, I do believe this is a Canva Pro feature. So if you'd like to try Canva Pro out, you can try it completely free 14 days using the link in this description. Once you're logged into Canva, you can literally do this on any design that you wanna create. So let's say we're gonna do this for a social media post. So you can click on social media here and you can choose any design that you want. Let's say that we wanna use AI to create us a brand new YouTube thumbnail. So what you can type in here is YouTube and thumbnail. Click on their template here. And you can choose any of these templates that you want. Let's choose one that kind of has a little bit of a of a fun flair to it. Maybe this maybe this horror game one here. And so let's swap out this guy here for something that artificial intelligence has created. So what you're gonna wanna do is on the left-hand side here, scroll down, and now they have this a little bit hidden. It's, it's on here for me because uh, I used it previously. It's this text to image here. But if you're finding it for the first time, you're just gonna click on apps and you're gonna scroll down here into this text to image. It's under this create something new area. So once you can click on that, it's gonna open up this prompt. Gives you a couple examples, but literally you can type in anything in here. So let's let's roll with a, a couple crazy examples here. Let's do Darth Vader as a chipmunk riding a lightsaber. Like that's just random, that's how my mind went. And then you can choose your style, you can choose drawing, three-dimensional, painting, pattern, concept, art. So let's first not select anything and just see what happens. So it is going to take just about a minute to process this. And you can see it, <laughs> it did a pretty funny job of, of generating these. Really only this one is a, uh, is a chipmunk, uh, <laughs> which, is, which is pretty funny. Let's try it one more time. If I click start again, let's see if it gets better the second time around. <laughs> Unbelievable! So you can see it's kind of it's kind of generating some some funny ones here. This is uh, here we go. This is the head of Darth Vader on like a chipmunk's body, and then there's like a lightsaber in the background. Let, let's see if we can if we can do the same prompt in some of these different styles. So let's do three dimensional. Let's see what happens if we do three D. Gosh, these are just so cool. So it, it it's not completely what the prompt was it, it it i think it took chipmunk as as little so it's making like miniature darth vader things here but it's still pretty freaking cool so let's let's roll with this first example here so you know so something else that we can do here is once we have an image that we're happy with we can go over to our regular background removal tools so if we let's see here let's go to edit image on here and then we can remove the background of this and let's see how good that this actually does from an AI generated image. Oh no, it removed the lightsaber. Okay, so let's restore, let's make this brush size a little bit bigger. Nope, a little bit bigger. There we go. And then let's see if we can restore some of the integrity of this lightsaber. <laughs> so it did a pretty good job of, of reduce. Okay, so anyway, that's, that's our removed background of this guy maybe we can just kind of fake it there <laughs> a little bit that's pretty cool okay let's do another prompt uh let's just see how crazy that we can actually get with the with these prompts so i'm going to start over and let's let's try something crazy here let's see let's do elon musk riding a tesla into space with jeff Bezos and they're both holding a blunt. Let's see what happens if that's, see that's such a really specific search. Let's see what happens here. In the meantime, let's get rid of this text over here so we can just have some fun, play around with these guys. <laughs> some, of these, <laughs> some of these are so funny. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. Here's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Musk and Bezos holding like a vape pen or something. <laughs> let's, 
let's start there. Let's try one more. Let's try one more time and see if it, if it if it gets any better. <laughs> this AI art is is getting pretty good, but it's it's not quite perfect yet. Okay, I'm gonna start one more time. I'm gonna take out the blunt and let's do holding a lightsaber. Here, let's do. Let's just remove. Here, let's do Elon Musk holding a lightsaber in the desert. Let's try it. Let's try that. Let's try really specific search and see what comes up here. <laughs> I love this. We <laughs> we have we have dual wielding uh, Elon Musk over here. I think he's more of a he's he's more of a Sith Lord. I I think. <laughs> here's our here's our Elon Musk holding a red lightsaber in the desert. I just absolutely love this. <laughs> I don't know. This is fantastic. There's so many cool use cases for this as well. I love uh, that Canva has incorporated this AI art uh, generating in here. It just gives so many more creativity options for you that you can use these into any art that you're creating online. I personally love this uh, chipmunk Darth Vader uh, that we made. Let me know in the comments how you would possibly use this tool. And uh, if you're a regular Canva user as well, I'd love to hear how you can envision yourself using these AI text generators. So I've actually been a Canva user for about seven years now. I've learned this tool inside and out. So in this video right here, I have some more step-by-step -step tutorials for you, super quick tutorials, if you'd like to learn more about how you can use Canva for your art. I'll see you in that video.